Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Our lesson today is how to install four start stop stations motor control and wired for sequence start. So start from M1 to M4. If M1 is overload, all motors stop running. I will show you the diagram I explained to you before we go into wiring installation. All right? This is our control circuit diagram. We have a four start stop station motor control. This is our four start stop station here. And wired for second start because this M1, if it's not energized, you cannot run M2 because M1 is open, normally open contact. This our we use this our interlocking. The interlocking we use is normally open, so that you cannot run any one of these until you don't run this one. So you start M1 first because this our mailing, this our mailing circuit operation to para maiwasan natin to avoid overflow the materials or feeds before we going to grind. Okay, this is our mailing to start first after accelerate to delta and then delta. We use the delta contactor normally open contact for interlock for M2. So when this one energize, then you can this one close contact, then now M2 is ready to operate. This is our elevator and feeder. This one you can run last. When you press start button, this mailing M1 contactor is energized and uh, then M1 normally open contact is closed. When this one is closed, this is our holding contact. When M1 is energized, we need the delta normally open contact. When energized, this one be closed contact. So when this closed contact, Itong M2 natin ay ready to run also. Ready to operate. When you push start button, this M2 energize. Pag ito ay nag-energize, ito ay our auxiliary holding contact is closed. So this our M2 normally open contact is closed also. Change to close contact. So when this energize, this one now, we have a contact here. So that means... This our conveyor M3 is ready to start. So when you press start again, this one close. Energize this M3. Normally open contact is close. And then this one start button ready to run. Start this one here, M4 energize. This normally open contact for M4. This our holding contact is closed also and motor is run. If M1 overload trip, all motor is stop. Press it back to close contact. So if this one is strip open, M2, M3, M4 is stop also. So when you receive, ready to close also. But this one never stop. Now when this one trip, this one only M3 and M4 will stop. Right? When this one trip. So we will go into wild now. Before we go into wiring installation, we need to put wire numbering para hindi tayo magkakamali. This our line 1 is our circuit number 1 and this is stop button all is number 1. Lahat ito ay number 1, jumper jumper, right? Okay. And then output of stop button number 2. And that means this is number 2. And this is number three. Number three is number three. This is number three. Next, M2 is number four. This is wire number four. Kailangan natin yan. And this is number five. Five. And this is our delta normally open contact is six and this is seven seven 
and this eight circuit number eight so number eight this is circuit number nine circuit number ten number eleven number twelve right and this one here is jumper jumper this our neutral we will use white wire and this is also neutral all right now ready for wire installation we have a power here in the primary so i turn off the breaker before we're going to wire mailing this our y delta motor three phase but i use only single phase only tutorial and our elevator bucket elevator this our conveyor this our feeder motor and the supply here all single phase the supply here is red and white i use jumper 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 so we have already and here the line one I connect wire already to stop button all jumper jumper I connect already kinonik ko na para mabilis tayo all line two is neutral white wire I connect to 96 jumper 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 okay so we need to connect only here and we need all the light all this inside from M2 we need to connect all this place all this circuit we need to connect this is our white wire 96 96 96 96 okay para mabawasan ang time pag mag record next is m1 stop button i need to stop to start button two wire number two to m1 okay number two wire one short wire to stop button and one long wire going to m1 this is our holding contact all right i connect already and uh, connect to stack button the short wire here stack button all right i connect already here so next number two to m1 this our m1 auxiliary contact this our holding contact i also make sure tight so M1 load side and start button we need two wire going to M1. I connect two wire to start button wire number three. Alright. This one here connect to A1 here. And output of three going to M1. To M1 here. So this is our holding contact. Connect to A1. So that we energize this one, this to hold the contact here. Use the delta. Okay. Alright. We need to. And this one here. Light, I connect here, this start button number 3, dial it to malapit, I connect here, see short wire here, this is close to start button here, this our light supply, indicator light, alright, make sure tight, okay, now we done here, so this neutral after, so next one tap start button wire number four to stop button stop button here wire number four here all right okay 
Start button, I put two wire. One is going to start button here. Start button. Only put it to start button here. Start button here. And two. Okay, tight. So, this stop button, one wire, is going to M2. M2, normally open, actually contact this hour. M2, normally open here. Okay. Habang warto. Tagal. Okay. So, Output of M2 holding contact normally open is going to interlock delta normally open for M1. Okay, we need here to connect here in M1 normally open. Wire number five connect to M2 normally open. Auxiliary contact this our holding contact. Okay, so this to mahabang wire long wire. We need to connect to start button. Okay. And this short wire going to M1, our interlock, normally open interlock from M1. So when this one energize, this one close so that we can run this. So, okay, I connect this first. This our M1 normally open is here. I connect this normally open here. This our interlock normally open so all right i connect this one more pipe to start button so start button here behind is our start button here i connect here okay so now we are done here output of interlock Wire number six connect to M2. This hour here. So we need wire number six. This wire number six. We need two wire. One short wire here going to A1. And one is going to light because our board is here. Right? This hour interlock. So wire number six here. Okay. This hour interlock M1 going to m2 a1 so i will connect this one m2 a1 okay m2 a1 and this six connect to indicator light this long one here indicator light m2 yeah that's what you we are done here. So next one is M3. Stop button, wire number 7. We need wire number 7 to wire. Connect stop button to start and M3. Stop button here, M3 here. Alright. Connect ready here. I need to connect short wire to start button. Start button, short wire here. Okay, start button, the top. Okay, make sure tight. And then, I connect already here. And long wire going to M3. Holding contact. This is our M3. M3. This for our holding coil. Tight. Load side of M3. Actually, contact M3 if we need. Two wire, wire number eight, M3. Normally open contact M3, two wire. One short wire, one long wire. And this short wire connect to M2, normally open. So this hour M2, normally open. This hour interlock from here. Normally open M2. This hour M2, normally open. Our interlock. We are all normally open. Okay. Now, I connect already here. So this one here, I need to start button. That's why long wire. All right. Make sure tight. Okay. So now, I connect already here. 
the output of M2 normally open here is wire number 9. I need two wire again because one is going to A1 and one is going to the indicator light. So we need wire number 9. One I shoot long wire. This is our interlock. Okay, this is our interlock here. This normally open short wire going to A1 M3. This is our M3. Going to A1. Where is the A1? A1 here. Okay. Again, nothing did in wire. I'm gonna hide it. Make it nice. And A1 is here. Okay. In ito. Now, this wire, long wire going to our light. One already here. Going to our indicator light. Our M3 indicator light conveyor. Alright, done. So, tapos sa tayo dito. Next one is wire number 10. I need two wire. I need short one connect here. Saka long wire import. Stop button import. This is our stop button import. Stop button here. Alright. Stop button. To mixing wire, short wire, I connect to stack button, the short wire here. Stack button here. Right, tight. Okay, wire number 10. Wire number 10, I connect ready. And this wire number 10 is going to M4 normally open. It's our holding contact. So, number 4 here, M4 normally open here. Okay, done. You need to. Now this, I connect already here. This next one is M4. I need two wire connect one here and the short wire connect here. This is our interlock from M3. Okay, this is our interlocking M3. So I need short wire, long wire and short wire. M4, normally open here. All right. Okay, so one short wire connect to M3. This is our interlock to here. So the interlock is here. Normally open here. Normally open here. Yeah, open normally close. So only one normally open here. Normally open over there. So we can use that. Okay. So normally open here, I connect already. So one wire going to start button here, the one wire, long wire. Mahaba kasi malayo. So going to start button. Start button here. Alright. Okay, tapos na tayo dito. So itong area na to, itong output ng normally open M3 here output going to A1 and indicator light so we need short and long wire kailangan natin ang wire number 12 long and short again so now this auxiliary contact M3 is here the button it's our normally open here alright Kahit anong klaseng contactor gamitin nyo, walang problema yon. Just follow the contact. Okay, the normally open here, number 2 short wire, connect to M4 A1. Where is the M4 A1? Here. So M4, connect this one first. A1. Okay, this is our A A1 M4 for the feeder. Okay, number 12. M4, indicator light here, M4, M4, here. Okay, all this side now done, finito. So, next, so 95 to 82, so 95 is here. 
Then going to A2. So I need long wire going to light. Okay, this one here. Long enough. Alright, done. Long wire going to light. Indicator light here. Indicator light here for middle. Okay, we are done here. Next, 95 going to M2 A1. And we need long wire to indicator light. So we need short and long wire. 95 to A2. Okay, 95 going to A2, M2. This M2, A2 here behind. Put inside here. This our A2 behind. So I need long wire to the light. One white wire. Oh, I need two wire connect here. Where's one here? Okay. So A2 connect. Need to indicator light M2. Indicator light M2 here. Okay. Okay, done here. Next is M3. 95 to A2, M3. 95 here. Okay, 95. Okay, A2. A2 is here. So A2, I need long wire to light. So I need extra long wire here. This is our A2 here. Okay, A2. M3 A2 going to the indicator light. Today, I don't use correct the overload indicator light because we don't have enough time. M3 A2 going to indicator light, green light. Okay, we are done here. Next, feeder M4 95 to 8. It's our 95. All right. 95 done going to A2 M4. A2 here. I need long wire going to indicator light. M4 A2. I need two wire here. A2 done. One long wire going to indicator light. This is our long wire here. Indicator light here. M4. Alright. Done. We are finished now. So we are going to arrange a little bit of wire and we're going to try it. Okay. All right, that's good enough. Turn on the motor supply. Turn on the our control circuit. Start mail M2, M3, and 4 You cannot start this M1 and 2 This our feeder you cannot run because we use the interlocking now. So we have to start M1 first. That's why sequence start. We start M1. Now our mailing is mailing machine is running. Motor now close. This one now mail M1 is energized. So normally open delta now is close contact. Right? Now close contact. So M2 is ready to run. When you press start, this one close because already you have continuity here. So now M1 is energized. M1 here. Start M2. Now M2 elevator is running. So now it start running because this one is closed. So when this one refresh, this one energize. The normally open contact for this uh, M2 is close contact. Now close contact. This one now is energized, light on now. Okay, light on elevator. Now this one here is ready to run. This our auxiliary contact interlocking for M2 normally open now is closed. So this means this conveyor M3 is ready to operate. If you don't start this one here, even your fresh M4 doesn't run because it's still open. See, that's our interlock. See, it doesn't work. Patay siya dito. That's why sequence start. Okay, so dito start M4. Yun ay protection para hindi magbara. 
ang ang ating milingan, giling. Kasi ang giling, kailangan niya ng walang laman bago magpa-start kasi mataas ang tirahin niya. Mataas ang right now, entry is running. So, entry is energized. This entry normally open contact is changed to close contact. So, now is M4 is feeder is ready to run. So, when this is start button, this one energize, this one normally open, change to close contact. Right? We'll see. Now, feeder on. Materials go in there or feeds to the conveyor. Say to the bucket elevator and bucket elevator bring to the milling. If you want to additional shaker, you can additional shaker make same connection. M4 normally open here. Going to M5. You can make another vacuum or dust collector. You can put more. So this is very important. Para may wasan natin magbara hindi machok ang ating motor okay? at hindi umapaw sa conveyor right Now, if M1 overload all motor is stop okay, we're gonna go into treat this only M1 all is stop but if this one overload only this three, three. Okay. I will treat all motor stop okay now overload everything stop so when overload this one here open circuit when open circuit this one here this m1 is the energize when the energize this holding contact back to normally open this m1 delta normally open back to normally open contact and m2 the energize also so when this the energize m2 the circuit is break here too also Putol din ang linya. So, this M2 will turn off M3 also here. Become open. Mamatay din siya. So, this one also is open. Matay din siya. So, pag patay yan, this M4 turn off also because interlock from here. So, this one open. All is back to normally open contact. Right? It's not still close contact only this one so when you reset reset the m1 back to normally close contact and ready to start again okay wait until accelerate the current transformer when you start or why is accelerate too high and then after five seconds transfer to delta and then going back to wait until it becomes stable when it's stable you can hear the sound back and then this one close after this one energize M2 this one close now close that means this M2 is ready to run the circuit is close contact now here so start button M2 M2 here now run M2 so when you start M2 this M2 now is close contact so that means close contact this M2 energize this M2 normally open here close contact also change to close contact right. now is change normally open change to close contact M3 is ready to operate start button Conveyor, then M3 start button. This M3 energize. This one is close. This one is holding contact close. So now M4 is ready to run. Right now you can start feeder now. All right, M4. This M4 energize. The M4 holding contact normally open is close. Now it's running. All now running is our feeder. If this M2 is overload, all these three is stop. And if this M3 overload, this one is stop. Okay, we gotta try. Let's say overload. Okay, I overload M2. That two, three.
three, four is stop. So reset. Stop again. So now, if entry is overload, entry and import only stop. Okay, I show you. Overload. So entry, import, conveyor and feeder only stop. But this one's continue running. So you have to reset again. Okay, and I start. And I start. So this one now, when this one feeder is overload, only this one overload. But, right? So you, you reset, then start again. You press the stop button, M1 stop button, all of them stop. When you're starting, you cannot start M4, you cannot start M3, you cannot start M2, unless you start interlocking from M1. After wait, after 5 seconds, delta start. When this tie start, the normally open contact here. Close, now, ready to run, start. Then start. Right? So stop, only three. So M3 stop, only two. And run again. When M4 is stop, feeder, only that. Start again. All right. That's all, my friend. Your request granted, Noel. Kung meron kang katanungan, Noel, message mo lang ako and comment below. Make sure yung gamitin mong auxiliary contact is M1 na Delta contactor. Okay, because three, tatlong contactor yung Mostly, this mailing is while del y start and delta run. Tatlong contact real. One is maining, maintaining contact from the, and start delta and timer. That's why start. So after five seconds, accelerate the start delta, transfer to delta. That's why I put delta here. Kung wala, wala na auxiliary contact, connect A1, A2, you need the connect A1, A2 supply. So, kunin mo lang dito ay normally open contact. Yun ang gamitin mo dito. Pero yung A1, A2, 220 man o 110, kung 110 ang voltage mo, kunin 110 na relay. Nagyan ka na relay dito. Relay. Additional relay here, it's no more auxiliary contact for you. That's all my friend. Have a great day to everyone.